Hi, so what we have here today is we have the Stens uh, valve spring compressor tool that we just received. It is Stens part number 750-1A2 and uh, this is used on uh, small engines like three and a half horse or five horse lawnmower engines and it's for compressing the valve spring and removing the the valve spring retainer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the package and uh, I'll show you how it works. I've tried doing these with, uh, you can do them with, you can take out valves like these with a screwdriver uh, and a needle nose plier, but as you'll see it is considerably easier if you get the actual tool that's made for this task. So this is a, this is a Briggs and Stratton 7.6.75 so I'm guessing it is 6.75 6 horsepower it's 190 cc and is your typical flathead where the valve seat fell out here so I got the valve set the valve seat peened back in uh, but I, we're gonna take the valves out now and uh, we're gonna get the valve set um, they need to be uh, you need to be ground for the proper clearance between the tappet and the valve stem. So I'll show you how the tool works. So we're gonna go ahead and get this out of the bag. And I'll show you how I'll show you how this cool tool works. It's very simple. It's pretty simple. So this is the Stens one. I do believe there is an official Briggs and Stratton part number four too. So as you can see that machined in recessed part is where you press it against the valve <coughs> the valve spring retainer would get pressed against that. Like I said that was Stens part number 750-182. So how it works is you use this, this is for leveraging. So you're, you're pressing this in, you're resting this in against the valve retainer for the valve spring. And then you press it and then this helps you pull the retainer back and then it comes off because those style of valve retainers, valve spring retainers, they have a slotted hole that's bigger on one end. So this helps you. I'm going to try, try to videotape here with a new setup today. And uh, I'm new to videotaping to begin with, so you bear with me. It might not work as slick as I thought. We'll see. I'm going to try and make it work. I'm going to put this bad boy in here like that. I hope you can see it. So we're going to put it in. Give me a second here. Let's try something else. I'll try doing it by hand. Otherwise, you will not see it. So, we're looking at the side that has the machined. We're looking at the side of the tool that has the machined uh, recessed circle. And we're putting it in here. So on these on these valves uh, retainers, you have to move this. See this notch? There's a notch on it. You have to move point that towards you, because that's the way that the notch is gonna be. And you press it, and you just press it on, and I can feel it moving in its moving. I can pull it towards me, and I can feel it. I can feel the valve retainer. See? Very slick, very, very slick. So I'm just gonna do this first one. I'm gonna take the spring out and I'm gonna make sure that the valve clearance is correct when the piston is tub, quarter past tub dead center. And I'll get the valve stem ground properly and we'll put her back with the tool. I'll show you how it works to put it back. It's the same process. But this tool is very much worth what you pay for. It makes it super easy. I did this in mere seconds versus what a small screwdriver and a needle nose and it's like 
messing around for minutes whereas this tool works in seconds.